I've done all I can. I've lost him. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times characters actually died in Power Rangers. For this list, we'll be looking at the most notable instances where sentient beings within the franchise died or at least looked like they met their ends. Although we won't look at comics this time around, we will consider any and all official live action Power Rangers projects. Did you ever expect Power Rangers to off its characters or were you as shocked as we were? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Most of Humanity Power Rangers RPM Instead of foiling a new villain's plan to conquer Earth at the beginning of the story, the Rangers had already lost by the time the first episode even began. The opening narration of RPM brings us up to speed about an evil computer virus that infected the world's technology. Benjix took control of the world's communication, power, and defense systems. It built armies of advanced robotic soldiers that laid waste to everything in their path. There was no stopping them. It was so destructive that the remnants of humanity retreated into the domed city of Corinth. While the season doesn't graphically depict the countless lives lost, it constantly hints at the devastation. Between the desolate landscape, Corinth's small population, and the rangers talking about people they lost, the audience can make their own unfortunate conclusion. Corinth? You're looking for Corinth City. Hmm? Am I right? Yeah, sure. I mean, the radiation uh, makes the compass go all screwy. Uh, Messes with the radio frequencies, too. Very hard to find your way. We never expected the multicolored heroes to run around a world that was this bleak. Number 9. Mac Hartford. Power Ranger Operation Overdrive. Even androids aren't immune to the ranger style of self-sacrifice. I think it's time you told him the truth. Mac? You're an android. After Red Ranger Mac came to terms with the fact that he was a cybernetic being, he charged into battle with the dangerous Flurious. Unfortunately, the hero's fully charged final blow against the big bad had severe consequences. What are you doing? Using all the power I have! I the fact that Mac was an android didn't change that his friends couldn't just fix him up. Mac's sacrifice appeared to be a somber, yet memorable conclusion to his character's story. However, some magical shenanigans brought him back Pinocchio-style as a real boy. We're glad the main problem he'll have now is figuring out when his birthday actually is. Number 8. Leonbo, Power Rangers Mystic Force Once the leader of the Mystic Wizards, Leonbo went to extreme lengths to seal dark foes away in the underworld. But the hero's courageous decision appeared to be his final act on Earth. Leonbo and Niela gave their lives to save us all. The sacrifice will not be in vain. They will be remembered. However, it turned out that Leonbo was actually brainwashed and transformed into the enemy known as Korag. Although the hero wasn't truly gone that time, there's no arguing Leonbo's supposed death informs much of the lore and emotional resonance for this season. No! It can't be! <sighs> oh. Who's that? Leonbo? And he would later go on to sacrifice his life again, doom himself to the underworld, and fall in a climactic battle. Power Rangers! Carry on my legacy! Fortunately, Leonbo's long journey ended with him fully alive again. Number 7. Astronomer slash Corone. Power Rangers in Space. During the In Space season, Red Ranger Andros was forced to face a new kind of adversary. 
when he was pitted against his sister Corone, aka Astronema. Corone, please listen. <laughs> Their dynamic was incredibly captivating because the hero didn't simply want to destroy the big bad. After Astronema is fully brainwashed, Andros accidentally deflects one of her attacks back at her. Goodbye, brother. <laughs> Unfortunately, she was unable to recover from the blow. It appeared like the season would end on a truly depressing note until the Red Ranger's tears miraculously revived the former villain and turned her back into Corone. Corone? Andros? How did I get here? That's a long story. Thankfully, the conclusion of this sibling story wasn't as tragic as the many battles they had to fight beforehand. Number six. Billy Cranston, Saban's Power Rangers. Since the 2017 Power Rangers movie opened with the deaths of several Rangers, we were prepared for the story to get pretty dark. The film eventually lived up to the grim tone of its opening when Rita Repulsa sneaked up on the Rangers. During an intense interrogation, she personally takes the life of Blue Ranger Billy. Zordon would lose all respect for me if I don't kill you. At least one of you. What? The shocking sight is followed by a harrowing scene where the rangers work together to carry their lost friend into the command center. After we and the heroes grieve Billy's loss, Zordon sacrifices everything to bring the fallen hero back. <laughs> While the 2017 movie didn't fire on all cylinders, it got the tone and gravity of this death scene down perfectly. Number 5. Officer Tate, Power Rangers SPD Not every character can be brought back with a magical resurrection. One of the reasons Blue SPD Ranger Sky was driven to become a hero was because his father was a Red Power Ranger. My dad was a Power Ranger too. He was the Red Ranger. He was a great father, but he made a vow to protect the innocent. When people were in danger, he was always ready to fight. However, their time together was cut short. During an intense battle, Skye's father was slain by a monster named Murloc. I can only imagine how hard that was for you. I'll never forget it. The Blue Ranger spent a lot of time trying to live up to his dad's legacy while processing this grief. In the end, Sky is able to finally get justice by capturing Murloc while wearing the Red Ranger uniform. Yeah! This triumphant moment can't bring his father back, but it was a great way to cap a sobering Power Ranger storyline about loss and moving forward. Number 4. Alex Drake, Power Rangers Time Force before RPM kickstarted its season in dramatically grim fashion, Rancic gave fans a literal strike to the heart by slaying the futuristic Red Ranger Alex Drake in the very first episode. This gut punch made it clear how high the stakes were from the start and set up a great twist. When the Rangers travel to the past, they find the Red Ranger's ancestor, Wes. Jen! Are you? <gasps> this man from the past soon becomes the team's new Red Ranger and a force for good. By working together underneath Wes, the Rangers are able to alter the timeline and bring Alex back to life again. Unbelievable. You look just like me. His revival admittedly throws off the team dynamic. However, his awkwardness with his teammates doesn't change how impactful his original demise was. Number 3. Magna Defender, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy There aren't many characters in the entire morphing grid who have a backstory as depressing as the Magna Defenders. 
After losing his son, the warrior began a hate-fueled quest for revenge. Scorpius, I will have my revenge. Even spending thousands of years in a crevice couldn't diminish his aggressive feelings. It was only after he possessed Mike Corbett's body that he started down a path of growth beyond grief. But it's not too late. Father, that warrior still inside your heart. I know it is. If you fight for what's right, you will honor my memory and we'll always be together. The Magna Defender's journey from determined adversary to morally complex anti-hero builds towards a fantastic finale, where he sacrifices himself to save countless lives. This is for you, Zika. This warrior's last act also has the bonus of reuniting Mike with his brother. While the Magna Defender didn't fully embrace vengeance, he got to be with his son again in the end. Number 2. Kendrick's Morgan, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy Most fans remember the time that real events led to a tearful goodbye to Pink Ranger Kendrick's. Kendrick, stop! Actress Valerie Vernon, who portrayed the heroine, was battling leukemia during the show's run. While she tended to her health in real life, the show's writers decided to write a landmark scene where Pink Ranger Kendricks gives up her own life to save her friends. I'm okay. I'll always be here. The story fully committed to this heartbreaking turn by having the newly good Corone take over as the Pink Ranger. Even though this was great development for a previous villain, the weight of Kendrix's absence was felt by fans. Fortunately, actress Valerie Vernon made a full recovery and saw her character revived in the finale. Kendrix? I knew you'd make it here. Kendrix! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Zordon – Power Rangers in Space Zordon served as an iconic mentor figure to multiple more phenomenal teams throughout the early years of Power Rangers. The five of you have come together to form as fine a group of superheroes as there has ever been. He felt as integral to the series as the suits, action scenes, and zords. But when In Space was slated as the final outing for the Rangers, they decided the best way to end Zordon's journey was to give him a permanent send-off. There's got to be another way! There is no other way. During the season finale, the mystical mentor realized there was only one way to stop evil forces from overwhelming the universe. The energy tube sustaining him must be destroyed. It's fitting and heartbreaking to see Zordon ask to be destroyed by a Red Ranger to save the galaxy. It is your duty as a Power Ranger to save the universe. Now is the time. <gasps> The tragic scene made for an unforgettable end to one of the franchise's greatest characters. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.